Hello all and welcome back to Lily Bees. I wanted to do a video today and excuse my deep rasp, I've got a little cold going on. I wanted to do a video today showcasing my sort of rough draft and what I would do differently design of my steam condenser on my boil kettle. And so real briefly what a steam condenser is, is it's a way to quickly take the steam from your boiling kettle and convert that to water, and so that, in my case, in an inside environment, you're not steaming things up like crazy and fogging the windows and doing damage to the insulation and the framing and everything else. So, let me show you, I've got this kettle boiling right now, and I just wanna show you that it really is boiling, steaming like crazy. And this is an anvil kettle, and so one of the first things I've done is added the anvil ferment in a kettle lid gasket, but I'm not using it in the way that they intended where you would have it wrapped around the lid, holding the lid down and sealing it. I'm just using it underneath the lid to provide a nice even surface for the lid to sit down on and seal tight. Next what I've got is my Brewer's Hardware bulkhead weldless fitting. This just has a, what is that, half inch pipe in and out or three quarter inch pipe. I kind of lose track on pipe, but I think it's half inch pipe. That's attached here and I use that for a variety of functions, recirculating my uh, rims mash and different things like that. And I've got videos on that. But today, what I'm using it for is if you've watched the channel, this looks familiar. This is my cooling coil. It's a brew built cool sticks for the top of my anvil crucible fermenter. With one modification I've added, normally this part would be open because it would be sticking down into the fermenter, but I've added a, I think that's an 18 inch spool of inch and a half tri-clamp, or inch and a, uh, inch and a half tri-clamp tubing. And then I've just got a, this isn't totally necessary, but I've got uh, half inch barb down on the bottom and so what's happening here is my homemade glycol chiller and I've got videos on that too is pumping 20 what are we at over there 29 and a half degree glycol through the cooling coil back up and recirculating back in to be chilled again and so all of the steam that's happening in here right now is coming out, hitting that, the hot steam is hitting that cold coil and turning into water and running out down here. And it's just filling a, a brew bucket that I've got sitting here with a leaky valve. That's why it's on a towel. But anyway, by the time it gets to here, there is no steam at all. If I really have a crazy boil going, it'll steam just a little bit here. You can kind of see that actually. And that's because this is not quite enough with my homemade chiller to chill it as cold as you would want, but it's kind of cool. You can actually see the condensation here. The pipe is cool, 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 getting warm, kind of warm, warmer, hot, hot. And then it's at its hottest obviously up here. So it is doing its job. By the time it gets to the bottom, it cools it and condenses it successfully into water. So as a result, the windows aren't foggy. You can't tell on camera because the sun's washing it out, but they're not foggy. There's no steam around and uh, it's pretty pleasant. So just wanted to show that um, using parts that I had on hand for the most part, with the exception of adding on a spool of tri-clamp there. So if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments down below. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe as always. Hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you on the next one.